it's an ongoing process of how to better the trio of tag team vocals that we have. And I'm very happy about the fact that we do have three vocals going on because I don't believe any of us want to take it all on ourselves. So we like to mix it up and I think we have three distinct voices that kind of lend themselves to various parts. I think it's really important part of our sound to have three different singers. It just makes the music much more interesting. I think it's one of the things that makes our band unique and I'd much rather hear three voices than one. Just fucking vocal this shit up. Thankfully it's worked out good and I think with this record it's only gotten better. Bigger and better, man. The vocal mountain is huge and we're continuing to ascend. Like I've always said, I feel that the three of us who share the vocals are very selfless and it doesn't matter who writes the lyrics, it's what voice matches the part best. We're always aiming for the greater good of the song. I mean, Braun, in the past few records, you know, he's writing the lyrics and the melodies. Well, it has to be the natural thing, you know. When Brent plays a beautiful melody, I can sing over top of it because I feel like I understand it and I know what's supposed to happen there. And the same with Bill and the same with Troy. So I feel like that's one of the things that I can offer to the band is an understanding of melody and how to sing over stuff. The biggest thing that we focus on vocally is trying to find the best melody for the part. A lot of the music is based in, in heavy rock, heavy riffs, but it's gruff, it's mean, it's dirty, it's hairy. The three of us really focus on finding the best melody possible to match the emotion of the song. And thankfully that's come more and more natural to us with each and every record. As soon as someone has an idea, everyone tends to gravitate towards it immediately, which is a good thing. That means we're all on the same page. As far as that's concerned, we all sort of chip in you know, together on the melodies and stuff. It takes all of us to make it really happen, and it takes the four of us to make it really a Mastodon song. It's the tag team vocal trio. When the vocal harmonies start to get all piled up on top, I love that. Sounds like uh, my favorite music. <laughs> You know, Brent, his, his voice is so distinct, and as soon as his voice kicks in on each and every song, it's just instantly memorable. Um, he's got a great voice. When we write a certain riff or a song, you know, we all know immediately that's a Brent vocal song. He likes to do all the guitar stuff and then, then he jumps on the mic and boom, singing great. He sounds awesome. You know, when we go for the, you know, some classic 70s voice, we turn to our drummer, Ron Daler. He does a lot of singing. I mean, Braun is an amazing voice. Yeah, I'm singing more. He practices his ass off and does it live. I envy him of doing that caliber of vocals while playing a drum kit.
even 20 years ago hanging out with him and he's singing like King Diamond, super high pitched, singing it perfectly. I'm like, whoa, man, not only are you a great drummer, you're a really good singer. <laughs> when he started doing vocals, he was really, really good. And now he's really, really great. Because he looks at it differently because he's a drummer. And he, he hears the percussive side of where the vocals will land. You can just get like a better variety of like, vocal melody if you're thinking with the drums and not with the guitar or the instrumentation of what's going on. He's got a higher range and usually with like heavier stuff, it's kind of a lower range, like Troy kind of fits 60, 70% of what we're doing. It could be Brent's lyrics, but maybe my voice fits the part better. Maybe it's a song that Braun wrote and Brent takes the vocals. The way we can trade off ideas, riffs, or lyrics is pretty special. I think that helps continue to make us not a one-dimensional band with a one-dimensional sound. Troy ends up singing a lot of the stuff because usually his bass things that he's playing underneath is more locked up with the drums. He has a little more freedom to do that and he's got a great low growly voice. He's got like this heavy metal version of Peter Gabriel or something. I love it. His voice sounds great. And some of the, his lyrics are awesome. And he had a lot to sing about on this record, you know, and I knew he was going to bring it on a, a bunch of songs. He really did. He's just fierce on some of that stuff. Powerful. Some of the most triumphant vocals I've ever heard are coming from him, so. Whenever the guys think that a vocal part belongs to me, I obviously want to, to please those guys and make everyone happy, myself included. You know, try to give it the best vocal approach that I can give. And uh, with this new record, every time we would jump in the vocal booth and start our idea, each and every guy was always thumbs up, thumbs up. So it seems like we're slowly but surely coming into our own as a group effort of doing vocals. And uh, I really appreciate the fact that we can share them and not have them uh, have one guy do all the heavy lifting vocal-wise.